Yes, from what I what we've been briefed with, they've begun work in bar hospitals, uh, theatres. They've had to do some uh, work there uh, to be able to bring it up to uh, to, to the standards uh, which is required to be able to perform these high level uh, operations. And they've done some minor operations to be able to test the process. And when uh, they uh, they are, they've seen that all their functions are fine and they'll be able to be able to begin uh, as soon as possible with the open heart surgery. When they've uh, again uh, realized that all the processes they've set in place uh, you know are working according to what's needed to be done. So the discussions that we've had they've uh, in, you know they've initially told us that uh, that by the end of this month uh, hopefully that that will begin uh, but again these are uh, there's a lot of uh, planning in place. So they have to identify patients. They, uh, you know, in terms of um, doing the screening that's required, and also making sure that the process is in place in the theatre that will be able to do them. Because once we start, once they start, they have to be able to sustain that. We have to understand that. So it's not a one-off thing. They come, they visit, they do it, and then you know they come again next year, like uh, it's been done uh, for some of the work that we've done recently before. Uh, with our visits that uh, came from uh, uh, other countries to Fiji because this is a process where we would require them and uh, you know we are asking them to be able to have that available on a sustainable uh, platform.